Hey guys, I just bought this house right here in front of me, 7313 Arrowwood, and the property was flooded. So it's uh, not the best property because it's gonna flood again probably at some point. I'm gonna make a quick little YouTube video to share the, uh, the story of this one. It's gonna be really, really simple. Hey guys, I just bought this house right here in front of me, 7313 Arrowwood. Bought it from a wholesaler and the property was flooded. So it's uh, not the best property because it's gonna flood again probably at some point. Maybe, maybe not. It rained a whole lot, like 10 inches in a single day, and this thing flooded. And I don't think this is typically like, you know, something that happens often, maybe once every 30 to 50 years, but it did happen. 10 inches, we got that much in like a day, and this house flooded. So I bought this, for, again, from a wholesaler. I'm gonna make a quick little YouTube video to share the, uh, the story of this one. It's gonna be really, really simple. I bought it at a good deal. I think we bought it for 65, I think. I think that's about right. And we borrowed 85, and we're gonna put 16 to 18 in it, just fix the flood part of it. And then we're gonna turn around and we're gonna list this thing for maybe 120 or 130, give or take. Should make a quick 20 to 30,000 on it. That's kind of the goal. But I hired a contractor. So I've been out once before to view it, to make the offer. I'm here today to secure the property. And I'm gonna maybe come back one or two more times before we sell it and then I'll never come back. So the goal is really only come here like three or four times to show you guys, you know, so sometimes these flips can be really simple. In this case, I have a contractor who I work with a bunch, done a ton of business with him, and he and I work really well together to where, you know, I hire him for a job, he comes out, I pay him, we're good to go. He's already been out and his quote was 16 to 18. So where am I getting that number from? from a contractor and I will show you guys here in just a second what that looks like but the plan was it's a great house in a good sh in good shape it just it could flood again right so you don't want to do anything too crazy the flood that happened to this one it screwed the floors up really bad so the goal here is to do flooring paint and then a new air conditioner and a new water heater and that's it if you could notice from this this camera here it's kind of hard to tell but the roof is actually in really good shape and I'll do a little pan here before I walk inside. Uh, but the roof's really in good shape and the outside's not bad. So we'll just maintain the yard. And the goal is really to, ho to only hold this house for about two months before we turn around and sell it. The rehab should maybe take three weeks, four weeks tops. And then we're going to list it on the market and then hopefully sell it at a discount. I believe the ARV on this one, it's been a couple days since I looked at it, but I believe the ARV on this one was like around 150 give or take. So we can list it at a discount and sell it quick. Maybe we can even make 30 or 40 if we get lucky, but you know, quick 25 to 30,000 on this little house flip here. All right, guys, we're walking through the inside. And the first thing you notice is this bump right here and it's quite substantial, but it actually goes across the whole side and it's kind of hard to see with the camera like this. So let's take it normal. And then let's take it down so you can see how big it is. I mean, it's a big, that's big, right? So these floors are just really torn up and it's this room, but you know, kitchen's actually in good shape. We can salvage the cabinets and the countertops. The floors over here look good. We'll redo this hallway because that's all gonna, it's all gonna have to come out, unfortunately. Uh, but the hallway here doesn't look too bad. The bathroom didn't seem to be affected too much. The tub's good. But over in the bedroom, you can see immediately when I put the phone on the floor, this thing's sticking up. So right here, and then it's doing it again there. And it's, I mean, it's quite substantial. The floor. So I'll try to get back over here one more time, actually, when they're ripping these out. That one's got a big big thing. So what happens is the boards, when they get wet from a flood or even just moisture, they buckle, they expand. And because they're expanding, they're buckling and then they pop up like this. So this room has it here as well. But you know, like the, the paint up here is good. Ceiling fan looks new. That's a newer ceiling fan. There's a bathroom around the corner here that's in great shape. So like we don't have to remodel this home. We just have to fix the floors and you know do some minor touch-ups, but the main remodeling to floors is done, which makes this like such an easy flip. Now, to go into the garage, 
how we access the basement. This one's a little different. Now I'd imagine since the floor is buckled upstairs, it doesn't look like anything got wet. It looks like this basement probably just took on three or four feet of water. And they did a great job of cleaning it out. And again, this was from the rain. It wasn't like a sewer backed up or a river or creek. It rained so much right here that it just couldn't drain fast enough. So it took it on. So, you know, maybe the water was up there high. There's a little bit of something. It's got some cracks, but it's not bad. I mean, its structure actually looks good, but this HVAC and water heater were underwater. So our rehab covers that and that new and then replacing the stairs and putting down new flooring and then touching it up. So, I mean, we're literally gonna spend about 18,000, 20 at the most. So I'll make a couple more videos whenever we're coming over. I'll come over one more time or two when they're rehabbing the floors to show you guys some more of that. But all in all, this is a quick, easy one. They don't always have to be difficult. You know, I'm not even gonna do much more than um, let the contractor do what he does best and you know make it look pretty again stay out of his way get it relisted and make some money thanks for watching hit that liking button and subscribe for more mm -hmm.